What up guys, it's Preach, I'm back again. Uh, sorry for the delay on content, just to put it in perspective for you. We had a guild meeting, a couple of guys came over from the guild. Only been in the guild recently, got to meet a couple of guys. Had some drinks with them, went to the casino, had a bit of a gamble. What a fantastic time. If you get on really well with people in your guild, and there's a meeting going, it's not the old world of where everybody on the internet is a paedophile, and going to take me and put fingers in my bum. None of that. If you're old enough and you know some guys and you really got on with them, I recommend any chance you get to go meet some of these guys, get to know them a bit better. Really is a great experience. Uh, you're obviously going to meet some odd people in your time. Luckily, this didn't happen this time. But if you do get the chance, I've had people from my old guild stay at my house. I've had a few of these meetings and this one was equally as good as any of those. Really a great time. I had a fantastic night. Got to meet the girlfriends. Everybody had a laugh. Had a few beers together. Really fantastic experience. Then, as soon as I got back from the guild meeting, I had to spend four days traveling for my day job uh, around the country. Uh, finally back in action, get some content out for you guys. And today I'm super hyped, because what are we looking at today? We're looking at my main character. I had a few private messages saying, Preach, you, you do all these characters that have just hit level, level 85, or you've put them in low gear. That's absolutely fine. What about your main? Your Frost Death Knight. Okay, so we're going to look at the Frost Death Knight today. We're going to use that slightly different uh, than the normal format, which is where I run you through the basics, and then we go and do a heroic run. Not going to do the heroic run now. If people really want to see it, I'll do it. But the main reason we're not going to do that is gear is so high, plus a 15% damage boost from the looking for group, is basically it's a video of me tanking, having to do all sorts of crazy stuff to stay alive. More than likely, I'll be killed, and I'm basically soloing the instance. It's not uncommon to see me run a heroic with randoms, and we're doing 60 or 70% of the damage compared to everybody else. Um, is that a bad thing? Is that because everybody's a scrub? Well, sometimes people are bad players. There's no doubt about that. I and mean, that's the entire point of our looking for win series is that we're looking for pe looking to boost our damage anyway, even in low gear up to high gear. But more importantly, it's because my gear is so high, plus a 15% damage boost. There's no tank in the world. He's not going to be able to hold aggro off me. Even our guild tanks, if I go in crazy and start blowing all my procs and cooldowns on mobs, they're not going to have a chance, even with some DPS pieces. Purely down to vengeance, I'd say. If they're not getting the vengeance, which they won't do in high gear, uh, they're not going to be able to put out the sort of threat needed to keep off me. Uh, and on the other hand, if they're in lower gear, they now just don't have the strength uh, on their gear to be able to counteract the type of damage I'm putting out. Okay, so we're looking today at my main character, my Frost Death Knight. I love him to pieces. He absolutely destroys. Let's have a quick breakdown. This is still going to be a basic guide, guys. Don't think, oh, he's in high level gear. This doesn't apply to me. The rules are always the same. Our rules remain the same. It's def definitely true of a Frost Death Knight. We're going to look at the very basic rules. In your minds, in your mind's eye, if you could pretend that this Death Knight is not overly geared, he's just at level 85. The rules remain the same for you guys as they do for me further down the line. Our priorities stay the same. Our rotation is very similar. Our gearing choices, our choices on gems, reforging and talent choices all remain the same for Frost. Really nice. There's no extra decisions we need to make further down the line as our gear improves. Everything sort of stays the same. If you follow what I'm telling you here, even in your low B gear character, you are still going to put out some pretty impressive numbers. And the talents benefit us even more as an entry level gear character. We're still going to put out insane damage in our dungeons. Let's have a quick look at this character. I go over the rules and the reforging and the talents. Then we'll look at our rotation. What I will include is a little bit of a test dummy thing at the end so you can see what I'm talking about. Again, I'm not going to do a heroic dungeon on this guy. Not for this video. It's really not worthwhile. It's not going to represent what you guys just stepping into a dungeon will see. It's going to be unfair to our tanks. It's actually a burden in many ways. If I go into a heroic dungeon with some low geared characters and I start destroying the place, although they might find it funny for the first few minutes... The healer's just going to be complaining. The tank's not going to be able to do his job. And why is he queued as a tank when this idiot DK has come in? Absolutely, obviously doesn't need anything from the dungeon. Why is he bothering? That's He's just a burden, okay? So I don't want to put that burden on people. If people really want to see it, then maybe I'll get a guild tank or a guild run and I'll do a run with you with some proper guys. But as it stands now, they're going to do a quick run. Quick look at the character then. I am level 386. Seems very, very high, doesn't it, to when you're doing your entry level 329 gear. Um, 386 Death Knight. That is mixed with a couple of items I've picked up for tanking. Uh, as, you, as you may have seen from my older video, I've been a tank for a very long time. I still like to tank on occasion. Don't particularly like to tank on my Death Knight, got to be honest. I think they're the worst tanking class at the moment. Uh, but if I need to do it for the guild, I'll quite happily step up and tank them up. 
tank a boss, anything like that if our tanks are unavailable. Got to fill those spots, guys. Remember, we are a death knight. We are not a frost death knight. We are not a fire mage. We are not a survival hunter. We are a death knight. We are a mage. We are a hunter. We are a rogue. We know all our specs because we're a better player. Anytime frost is currently the best, slightly better, if not equal to unholy on some fights, but Blizzard can change that any second. There might be a patch one day, oh, Frost Death Knights have just been nerfed into the ground. <laughs> you fools. And then we look at it and think, well, I've been Frost forever. What the hell am I going to do? Really learn all your specs. Get used to it. You're a Death Knight. That means that you can fill so many roles. Well, two roles, in fact, but multiple situations apply differently. Just because Frost is currently the best DPS spec in some fights, it's not always the best, okay? Unholy might be better and is better in at least one fight in the Tier 12 content. And that's where you are. know your other, other specs, learn to play them, get used to it, be a blood tank, be an unholy. But for the main part, I am a frost death knight. In nearly 90% of all situations, I am playing my frost DK, 386 gear level. His actual DPS gear is 383. Like I say, that is boosted a little bit by tank gear on the item level screen here. But his DPS gear is actually level 383. Doesn't matter for you entry level guys, the rules remain the same. So... Our stat priorities. We've just hit there. We've got this green. We've got this blue gear. Might have picked up a couple of epics here and there so we can get into our heroic dungeon. What are our stat priorities, Preach? What are we looking at to make sure we initially get in there and we're not making a mess of things? It goes like this. Hit. Get your hits up to your melee cap, okay? Now, melee cap is a different word for dual wheel because Frost is a dual wheel build. Two-handed Frost is way behind on dual wheel talents. So we're a dual wheel Frost DK. That's not to say if your first weapon, you go into a heroic and you, you're using green weapon, two green one-handers, and suddenly a heroic mace drops or something like that, um, two-handed mace, use it. It's not that far behind that you want to warrant waiting forever and ever, because you know what it's like with random drops, guys. Random drops are random, and you might not be able to get them. You might not be able to afford some blacksmith to pick them all up. Doesn't matter. We're going in there as a dual wheel DK for this. Only a slight talent change for our two-handers. So we'll talk about that when we get into talents. But as it stands, we've got a 383 DPS item level geared Frost Death Knight. Please pretend that's down to the lowest. Because the rules, like I said, are still the same. It makes no difference. So our priorities again. Hit. Up to it. We want 8% hit. That's what we're after, okay? As you can see, I'm on 8.47. Why is that? Because one, we have a talent which makes our hit easier to get. And hit, as dual wield, as I've just said, still has a value past the hit cap. We are normal hit cap, which is 8%. We're after 8%. That's what we're after. But because we're dual wielding, we still gain DPS only very marginally past that hit cap, okay? It still exists. It boosts up to our spell hit cap, which only affects one or two things, and it's not worth aiming for. We certainly don't want to drop other stats to get up to the spell hit cap with our Frost DK. We are looking for that... Lovely 8% hit. Being below it is not cool. Get as high as you can. Remember, as we said with all our other guides, with our rogue and our mage, is in your early days, there's just not enough stats available in our early gear to get these caps, okay? They're just not available. So we're going to get as high up primarily on our hit. Get our hit up to that 8% if we can. If we can't, doesn't matter. Get it as high as you can. Dead easy. Next comes haste. Haste is amazing. Haste is going to blow your balls right out of the wall. Why? Haste gives us faster runes, gives us more attacks, gives us more killing machine procs. We're going to talk about in a minute. Haste is all good. The more the faster we're attacking, the more stuff we're getting, the more runes we're getting. More runes equals more attacks. Okay? So we want hit, then haste, then comes mastery. A quick look at our mastery. What does it do? Increases all frost damage done by 33%. Each point of mastery gives us another 2% damage on that frost. So, okay, so mastery comes slightly behind. Nothing wrong with that at all. So hit, haste, mastery. Where's expertise in this preach? Why are we not talking about expertise? We're a melee class. Do we want 26 expertise? The same rule applies as our rogue. In the early days of getting your character, okay, you're not going to be able to use... All of your resources to the point where there's something being wasted if you get a dodge. It's just not possible. So don't worry about it. In the early days, expertise is way down on your priority list, okay? As you can see, I've got the expertise cap on both of mine. Why have I done that? 
That's purely because I can get so many resources during Bloodlust or Haste procs that I can be global cooldown locked. We talked about this with our Rogue. Global cooldown lock, where if you get a dodge, then you've really wasted resources. So I've gone for a higher expertise. I've not bothered to cap the offhand. Because I'm an Orc, I get a bonus from Axes. So we've gone very, very close. As you can see, I've got a 0.25% dodge chance on my offhand. Uh, it's not an issue for me. It really isn't. That 0.25% can lick my spuds. I'm not going to turn any more stats into, stats into expertise. Because it's totally unnecessary for me. I'm not. If it's unnecessary for me, certainly unnecessary for you guys. Yeah, and your entry level gear. If I've got this level gear and I'm still not crying about my expertise cap, then you don't need to worry about it at all, do you? Get your expertise off. You don't need it in the early stages. Once you get up to this sort of gear level, then you can start worrying about it a little more. But for your entry level, expertise is a stat that you can reforge into either more hit or more haste or more mastery in some situations. Okay. So let's look at our choices for gear. Um, gloves. Okay, so you've got a pair of gloves. I want you to imagine they're not the epic heroic gloves. They're, they're nice low B333 gloves, but they come with hit and mastery. So what did we say? The priority is hit, mastery, hit, haste, then mastery. So we've looked at our gloves, got hit and mastery. Well, we need the hit, start of all. Mastery is worse than haste. So we're going to get rid of our mastery and turn it into haste. Okay, these are the choices you need to be doing in your mind. Find another item that I've not modified, which will apply to you guys. Okay, the boots. The boots come with crit and haste, which some other boots might do. So crit is garbage for us. So we've turned our crit into mastery. Or you guys might turn that crit into hit. It's already got haste on it. So we either want to be boosting our hit or our mastery. Those are the choices in your brain, okay? No matter what the item is, no matter what level of gear it is, we need to be thinking, do we need hit? No? Okay. So what's next? Haste. Well, it's already got haste. So what comes third? Mastery. Okay, we'll get rid of our worst stat and we'll turn it into mastery or haste or hit. These three things you want. You're never going to reforge to crit. You might, in the end, reforge to expertise. But as it stands now in your entry level gear, you're going to be thinking, one, has it got hit on it? No, I need hit. Has it got haste on it? No, then I need haste. And that's it. Anything else is secondary to those two stats. Boost it up that way. Okay, so in your situation with some crit haste boots, you've probably gone ahead and turned your crit into hit. Either that, or you've hit capped, you're going to turn it into mastery. Leave that haste alone. Haste is all good. Moving down again, expertise haste ring. Turn our expertise into mastery. Dead easy. Or your expertise into hit. Either whichever stat you need, looking over here, if you're on 6%, you're going to turn that expertise into hit. Very easy decision. Uh, decisions that need to be made you're just looking at your worst stat as you've done on every other class that we've looked at so far turn your worst stat into your better stat how easy is that that's all you need to be thinking about in your brain going through again same rules crit haste ring okay so we turn the crit into mastery or for you guys you might turn your crit into hit the rules apply all the way down what you do want to be thinking about in your frost dk is has every high item in my arsenal got haste on it but if it hasn't then you need to be getting some haste in it because chances are if it's not got haste on it then it's probably got hit on it okay very rarely you'll get a crit mastery item let's say and in that case all you're going to say then is well mastery is better than crit do i need hit or haste ideally as you move up the ranks you want to have haste and as much of it as possible on every single item you've got get that haste up 